Okay, so let's jump into the details of this cost calculator. We're going to review the input parameters again, and we're going to start at the top. As of December 15th, the average number of points or points per day required to fold one coin was 6,677. And we'll, we'll discuss the costs of producing those calculations um, later on. And that can be verified through um, extremeoverclocking.com. Right now, we're a little bit higher, but if you look back in the December timeframe, we were around 500 or 50 million points per day. The cost per kilowatt hour is a US average of 12 cents. The number of years that we're gonna make this calculation is based off of block halving events and block halving events happen in most cryptocurrencies. Our next one is scheduled for 2018 and you can see that um, in this little chart where over the span of 100 years, every four years, there's a block halving event, which means there's half the coins available for the miners to mine. And actually, we published this figure. You can tell there's 2014 was the initial, the start of PureCoin, then in 2018, 2022, 2026, and so on and so forth. Each time there's half the coins available. So that induces competition and scarcity, um, kind of following a traditional um, precious metals mining model. Um, the hourly rate for an administrator, because you're going to be administering your equipment from time to time, so we bake this in. It's $22 uh, as a U.S. national average, and we got that from um, right here, this pay scale, human.capital. It's um, it's around $59,000 per year. So if you want to really look at this as a money-making endeavor, then you have to count your time. And the average salary turned out to be, at, at that time, that works out to be about $22 per hour. All right, so um, PureCoin cloud costs per week. So if you were to commission a high-end cloud with uh, four NVIDIA 9800s, um, it would cost you $92 approximately per week. And we'll get into the details of how many coins you can earn based on that one week. Um, it's actually over here is the pure coin folding. Um, let me get to. Cloud.purecoin.net. And that gives you the prices and the availability of the equipment. Then we, uh, we're going to skip into um, Amazon Web Services cloud instances and whether it's going to be a spot instance, which is you're bidding on the time and you can be picked up if somebody outbids you at any point. And then um, dedicated instances where you actually buy a chunk of computing time that nobody can steal away from you. And these are based on some uh, recent estimates back also from December. Let me see if I can pull those up here. So. Um, this is the spot price index in mid-December for a C3.8X large. It's basically a 32-core um, mini supercomputer, if you want to call it that. Um, this is the average rate. It's actually right here. It shows an hourly rate for a G2.2X large, which is a GPU-based system. And then on AWS, you can actually get a quote for dedicated instances and we can take a look at. So a G2.2X large, which is a GPU based system, um, upfront costs for a year would be $3,800 and a um, CPU based system, like the uh, one year term for that all upfront would be $8,691. So that's where we got these figures and. Over here in the calculator, they're actually showing what that works out to be weekly. All right, so that's where we got some of the input parameters. Now I'm gonna go through um, a simple configuration, probably the simplest configuration you can use for folding proteins. And uh, that's a dedicated laptop doing NACL, which stands for Native Client, which is a very simple client that you install. It's actually already baked into a Chrome browser but I'm gonna go through the parameters anyway, even though they don't necessarily apply to 
a laptop, but you're going to see those repeat as we go down through each um, each configuration. And we have up to 12 different configurations we're going to cover. I'm going to try to make it quick. Okay, so the first section talks about um, how many GPUs and um, our our configs that we're going to cover will have. Uh, anywhere from no GPU using CPU only to up to three GPUs and cloud instances that can have more. Then this section covers the maintenance. Um, this is the maintenance over the four year period. And that's considering that you're going to look at this stuff for 15 minutes every two weeks at the $22 per hour hourly rate because you still have to monitor your system and make sure that um, everything's up to date and that your system hasn't frozen or anything like that. Um, this is uh, the cost of a, uh, considering a Lenovo T430, you can actually, it's a middle of the road laptop, you can probably find it much cheaper as a matter of fact, if I have it right here, um, you can now get it for $523, so I'll probably adjust that price accordingly on overstock.com. Then, um, what I'm adding in is basically additional maintenance. So over that four year period, you're gonna probably wind up replacing something. Either a memory module is gonna go bad, a power supply is gonna go bad, or a disk is gonna go bad. Basically there's some baked in hardware cost in there. Um, I'm also baking in for the four year period, $240 in this case uh, for broadband, because you have to be connected to the internet in order to download these jobs. So I'm saying a percentage of your broadband is going to be dedicated to folding proteins. This is probably an overstatement. It'll probably be a much smaller chunk, but I said $5 a month um, times 12 times the number of years, which in this case is four, is going to cost you $240. We have to count for all costs. So here we've got total cost of hardware plus maintenance over the number of years. Um, here we have um, the value of the equipment at the end of the number of years. So it's just using simple straight line depreciation. So it's basically worth a quarter of what it was um, when you bought it, when you when you add all the additional costs in, like the, the additional maintenance and uh, the initial purchase price. Um, the value of the equipment at the end of it, we covered that, the total cost minus depreciation of the equipment. So this is the total cost, including your time, um, but minus the depreciations, so you can still sell that equipment um, for $207 at the end of four years, for example. Um, here we have, we're just copying the value from up here, the points per coin estimated. And, and guys, this, this value fluctuates daily. As a matter of fact, the more competition, the, uh, the, the more points it takes to earn a coin, theoretically, that bakes in more value into the coin is that there's more competition for it. Um, on a laptop like this, you're looking with running an ACL, and this is anecdotal because uh, we've tried it ourselves, is about 0.45 coins per day. Um, it's it's gonna generate about 655, 656 coins over the number of year period. Now over here, we're gonna say that that's uh, you know, we're using 365 days. Any value on this, if I share this spreadsheet with you, basically stay away from anything that's gray, only use values that are orange, so uh, everything else is pretty much baked in and should not be changed. Um, the four years is taken from up here, the number of years. Uh, hourly rate is taken from the national average for a system admin. Uh, uh, just using 24 hours per day, because that's what it's running, it's 24 hours per day. A system like this, a little laptop is going to be burning about 55 watts when it's running at, at full speed, so it's about half a 100 watt light bulb. And I wanted to just include a note that one of our top folders, even though it's not applicable to a laptop, but you're going to see this repeated in every configuration. Um, El Kala is he's one of our greatest folders. He's got like $70,000 worth of equipment. His, his electric bill alone for a year is about six, seven thousand $7,000. He recommends that if you have a chance to put or upgrade any power supply, make sure that it's an 80 plus silver gold power supply for additional stability. And that's a really great note from, from Ed because he's one of our greatest contributors. Um, next, so going down the list here. Uh, all right, so the total electricity cost based on 
55 watts running continuously at 12 cents per kilowatt hour over the four year period, it's gonna cost you about $231 um, in your electric bill over four years. Uh, about 16 cents per day, um, about one cent per hour. And that's rounded up probably. Then um, we're gonna look at uh, what it costs to fold 1,000 points. That's if you're not even mining for cure coins, but to make 1,000 points uh, using the laptop costs about 28 cents to do 1,000 points, including depreciation, depreciation, uh, depreciation on your equipment electricity as well as your time and that's actually right here that, that was excluding the time then if we add in your time it's about 39 cents per 1000 points if you include your time uh, so uh, then we kind of get into the uh, cost per coin model how much does it cost to fold proteins per coin on this dedicated laptop running NACL well because it's the lowest end piece of equipment uh, that you can run folding on and earn coins it's actually not very efficient so excluding your own time it costs about a dollar 84 per coin to fold on a laptop and you'll see this number starts coming down as the economy of scale starts becoming a factor and you create bigger and bigger equipment configurations if you add in your time the cost per coin is roughly two dollars and 63 cents uh, per coin, which, uh, and I want to stress again, although that seems pretty ridiculous based on CureCoin's valuation, it's the underlying value of the research and the contribution that you're making. And this is an investment not only for yourself, but it's also an investment for humanity. And, and we are working, um, trying to find partnerships with, uh, with entities such as couponing companies to make even the smallest folder feel important because not everybody can afford a, a high-end system or cloud computing to fold proteins. Um, next category down is gonna be uh, your cost per hour. So on a system like this, it's about five cents per hour, including your time, and about three cents per hour, excluding your time. So I'm a little bit out of order there, but it was pretty hard to try to shuffle things around once they were set. So that, that there covers a dedicated laptop, the simplest way that you can contribute. And now we're gonna kind of move through the ranks, and I'm gonna move much more click quickly because you guys already know what each of these categories mean. So let's take a look at a dedicated Mac or a PC instance um, without any GPUs. You're only gonna be doing CPU folding. And on a Mac, unfortunately, whether it's an iMac or, or any kind of a Mac device that can fold, uh, you, you don't get the opportunity to leverage the GPU, not as far as I'm aware. And if that changes, um, please correct me at the bottom of this video. So um, no GPUs in this case. Um, this is the calculation of maintenance. You know, again, 15 minutes every two weeks, looking at the thing, making sure it's still running, making sure you've got your drivers updated and that your latest operating system updates are, are there. Um, the initial purchase price, now this is on the high side and um, because I'm kind of averaging between a dedicated iMac, which is very expensive, and a PC that you can buy as an engineered solution. You can build a PC much cheaper. I mean, as you can see, like um, I've got a Micro Center quote here for 687 bucks for a pretty decent PC that you can build yourself. But if you look at like the cost of an iMac, you know, out of the box is $1,700, $1,800 for a 27 inch iMac. And, um, you can look at like a PC, HP Pro 3500, um, Core i5, you know, its initial purchase price, it's an engineered solution, was uh, $1,075. So I'm, I'm high on this number, but you'll see that in the end, it doesn't make much difference even if you put the $675 in there. It's still, once you count in the electricity and once you count in your own time, doing this then the costs obviously go up and your investment goes up i should say okay so um all the all the other categories are the same but the only thing i'm going to highlight here is that um, on a system like this you can probably expect about sixteen thousand points per day running just with a with a cpu only max seem to do a little better than than uh 
the PCs, for some reason, if you look at the same um, same CPU quad core category, although that's just my own experience, yours may vary. Then um, over the course of the four years, you're going to earn um, about 34, 3,500 coins over that year if you keep these systems running 24 seven. And I also wanted to know, so everything, all these other categories are the same. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before was this category here, the uh, additional AC cooling. What we're doing is we're taking part of the year in the, where you're actually going to be producing heat, like during the summer, kind of on a national U.S. average, and consider that over three months of the year, you're going to have to sort of cool your house with the same number of watts that you've put into the air. So in a system like this, you can you're running 185 watts. It's like a little mini blow dryer blowing into your house. So your AC system in your house is going to have to work a little harder. That becomes much more of a factor. And again, this is factored over four years. Now that becomes much more of a factor later on as you get into more advanced systems. And again, uh, Ed suggests running a silver or gold. They even have a platinum um, 80 plus power supply. If you're going to buy one, uh, spend the extra 15, 20 bucks to get at least a silver. All right, so that's folding on a dedicated iMac or PC. Now we're starting starting to get a little bit more serious. And so the next system that we're going to cover is a single GPU uh, with a quad CPU model. Same rules apply for the equipment, um, although right now we're going to look at, uh, right now we're adding a GPU. Um, this GPU is going to be a GTX 970. The average price of a GPU, a 970, NVIDIA model is about 350 bucks, and you can get one on sale. I recently purchased one for 280. It was an open box special, but if you want one that's brand new and shiny, um, you'll still have to pay somewhere around 220 or 320 to 350. So that's the cost of the GPU. The GPU is going to make you about 240,000 points per day. So you can tell now you're really scaling up. I mean, even compared to the laptop, I mean, heck. But a laptop's only going to give you about um, 60, oh, where are we here? It's going to produce 3,000 points per day compared to a single GPU system, um, which is going to produce, just from the GPU alone, it's going to produce 240,000 points per day. So that's going to equate to many, many more coins. So here, you know, we've got one GPU. Everything else is sort of the same. It's a quad CPU system. The cost of that, you know, the price might be less. Um, then we're going to take a look at the average points per day on a system like this, including because you you may want to you may want to fold not only on your GPU but also on your CPU. So we're adding a little bit extra on there. So you can expect around 250,000 points per day, which equates to about uh, 37 coins per day or uh, 54,600 points over four years, and then we go in here and we take a look at the cost per coin, uh, including your time, is about seven cents. All the other factors still apply. Um, we're talking about a little additional in AC cooling over four years. Um, the total cost to run that setup, including your time, is about $3,900. So uh, this is some serious money. I mean, it's over four years. There's, there's not a lot of uh, invested in your equipment and maybe it's a gaming system that you use anyway so um, just run it when you're not using it which is probably the majority of the time you know you can justify that cost pretty easily then okay let's go to a dual gpu system same rules um, but only now we've got two gtx 970s both producing 240 thousand points per day each so with the addition of the cpu working hard for you um, you're going to be up to some somewhere around 500,000, 510,000 points per day. No guarantee because each piece of equipment is different. So I have better cooling. You can go with a water-cooled overclocked option, which I don't personally like overclocking because you're actually working on medical uh, research. But um, uh, Panda has some guidelines as to how far you can overclock and you should probably read up on overclocking on a folding forum. Uh, on a system like this, you can earn about 76,000 points per day based on the current levels of competition. Uh, again, that can go up and down based on 
how many people are folding and how many people are competing for the coins. The more people are compete for the coins, theoretically, the higher the value. Um, but again, it's it's theoretical uh, how how high the value is. So coins over the number of years, um, you're going to earn uh, from folding. You're going to earn 111, 112,000 coins um, if you keep that equipment running 24/7 at a cost of about four cents per coin, um, including your time. Okay, now we move into a really nice advanced setup, a, a probably an ATX case that has three GPUs set up in it, and uh, all the same 9700s. I mean, there's many different choices, and the only reason we're using NVIDIA for this demonstration is because we have the numbers ready, but, um, AMD Radeons are certainly extremely capable cards, and, and um, we're going to show you a, a coin calculator that you can actually put your own card in and get an estimate based on its its point per day output. So you can use your AMD or your NVIDIA in there. All right, so uh, maintenance is going up on a system like this. And I think I might have even brought it up in here. Yeah, 30 minutes every two weeks on a three GPU system. Maintenance is about 40 minutes every two weeks, so 20 minutes a week you're going to spend on upgrading drivers, uh, upgrading your um, your system to the latest version, uh, just checking in on it to make sure everything is working okay, that you're not um, dropping jobs because one of your GPUs is uh, not running correctly. So that's there's some additional maintenance involved there. Um, the average points per day on a system like this is going to be about 760,000, uh, and that equates to about 166,000 coins over the course of four years. And notice that you know economy of scale kicking in here. Now your your cost per coin is only four cents per coin. It's actually probably a little bit less because I'm right rounding up in here. So. Um, we're going to get into something uh, a little bit easier. If you don't feel like putting three GPUs into your system and um, running a lot of watts, you can spend a little extra money and buy a really high-end GPU. And that would be like a, an NVIDIA GTX 980 or even a 980 Ti, which uh, the 980 does 350,000 points per day. Um, the TI does quite a few more, but it's quite a bit more expensive. I don't have those figures in front of me right now, but just take my word. So um, notice that you're burning much less wattage here compared to a three GPU system. If you just go with one high-end GPU, um, and you're also probably going to spend a little bit of time, less time maintaining it. So maybe worth your time and, and if you want to become a, a folder for pure coin or just a folder um, for philanthropy that you just put in a really high-end GPU into your system and call it good. You'll spend less time and probably overall less money. Uh, because the, the output of this is a little bit less than the three GPU, you know, you're, you're gonna be making about 360,000 uh, points per day including your CPU, so you're not going to make as many coins, but your your uh, cost per coin over the number of years is uh, is six cents, but you're not going to have to spend as much time on it. That that's, could be key to many people. All right, now this is a very special setup. Uh, very few people have this. Um, some labs have access to this. Um, I know at the place that I work, we have several systems that are like this. It's a high-end CPU uh, with 32 cores. Now that's um, 32 CPU cores. It's usually four sockets with um, an eight core CPU for each socket. So it's four times eight equals 32. So basically a mini supercomputer for your house. And we have folders that actually have these in their home or in their, in their basement data center. And so you notice there's no GPUs in here at all. It's all doing calculations using CPUs, which which aren't uh, aren't the most efficient way to fold. But there are plenty of jobs that need to be folded using CPUs. It's um, I believe it's the OXA 
four jobs that fall into this category. And um, the best estimate, and this is really just taking a basic CPU system and scaling it up because well, none of us actually have one that we can tell you uh, how many points it's gonna make, but the estimate would be about 120,000 points per day. So that equates to about 26,000 coins over a four year period. It's gonna be burning quite a few more watts because it is a heavy duty system. The good news is you don't really need a lot of disk space and you don't need a lot of memory. So your cost per coin on a system like this will be about 49.50 cents. And let me see if I can show you uh, a system like this, you know, a Dell PowerEdge 920 rack server. This is what it looks like. Um, here's a price tag of $9,700. The config is actually a little bit different than what's shown here because uh, what's shown here has much more memory and much more drive space than you really need to fold. And you could build a system like this yourself for significantly less, for probably less than, than this cost. But uh, this, again, is an engineered solution from Dell. So um, now we're kind of going to move into the cloud space. And this is it could be extremely hands-on or extremely hands-off, depending on your options. So we're going to look at a CureCoin cloud instance here. And a high-end CureCoin cloud uses four GTX 980 cards, each producing about 350,000 points per day, so that's quite a bit. And usually you, you can buy this um, a week at a time, but for simplicity's sake, we're gonna take that week and we're gonna, we're gonna multiply it 52 times over four years. So if you were to lease this system for four years, it would cost you $19,100. Um, your average points per day uh, including the GPUs and a little bit of extra CPU power would be about 1.4 million points per day, which over the course of that four year period would give you um, 306,000 coins. The great thing about the CureCoin cloud folding is that notice that the maintenance on this is absolutely zero. All you do is pay for the time and give a wallet address and um, CureCoin takes care of the rest. Um, it winds up costing you about six cents per coin. And at that rate, it equates to you know, either a high-end GPU instance or a three GPU instance cost-wise without any of the headaches. So that's the, that's the plus side. And you don't have to, I mean, obviously this is calculated over the course of four years at $92 per week you get that system and you can just boost your point output and, and boost your coin output at the same time, uh, a week at a time. And I've used it before just to boost my points. All right, now we get into sort of a, an interesting area and that is um, the uh, Amazon Web Services Cloud Spot Instances. And as I, as I showed you before, the spot instance pricing if I can find it here. Now this was from December and this was an hourly rate for a C 3.8 large it was about 30 somewhere between 31 and 38 cents per hour. So we sort of took that and multiplied it um, out to what it costs per week and then to a year and then over four years. Same thing with the G2.2, which is a GPU-based system, and that worked out to be somewhere at the time to about uh, eight or nine cents per hour to run that. The trick with those is that you have to make sure that you create a system where you save your job progress in between price-induced outages, because you basically bid on the computing power and if somebody outbids you, like a biotech company decides that they need an hour worth of uh, that spot instance's time, well, they're going to outbid you and they're going to pay $10 per hour for that instance. Well, your nine cents isn't going to compete, so you're going to drop out. So your work has to be continuously saved onto auxiliary storage, could be within the cloud. And um, that requires a little bit of finesse and a little bit of system knowledge 
and we we have a write up that we're going to repost if anybody's interested. It got deleted recently um, off my ISP, but I'm going to try to repost it. So if anybody wants to take a stab at it, they're willing to uh, go through the learning curve. It's certainly fun and it's certainly worth trying because you, you do generate a lot of points, but it's at a much higher cost. So um, I'm kind of going back to what the G2.2 large instance has. It's, a, it's the equivalent of a, an NVIDIA GTX 680. It does about 85,000 points per day. Uh, your experience may vary. That was just my last observation. Um, this, uh, this GTX 680 is really a misnomer because if we go down here and we look, um, it's actually part of an NVIDIA Grid K520. So that's really what you're running. It's a, um, it's a GPU designed for the cloud by NVIDIA. So you're going to make about, you know, including CPU folding time, you're going to make about 90,000 points per day. And that's going to equate to about 19,600 points over the course of four years. Notice your maintenance on this is very steep because you're going to have to uh, look at it much more often. Um, one hour every week, um, you know, uh, that may even be an understatement because if you get outbid quite a few times, I, I've run a week without being outbid and I've also been outbid three times in one day. It just depends on how busy uh, AWS is. So uh, your maintenance varies in there. So we're, you know, we're putting this on the high end. And so if you count in your maintenance, you know, I, I'm still adding a little bit of watts in here because you still need a system or a laptop that's running to monitor the cloud instances, although you can always close it and come back to it and look at the progress. But I'm adding a little bit of local watts, even though it's running in the cloud. And it turns out to be about 42 cents based on today's competitive rates over the course of four years. If the price stays the same for four years, it would cost about 42 cents per coin. Very similar. This is a uh, C3.8 large, which is really the equivalent uh, of a system like this, only it's in the cloud. Um, we have recently tried to run it, but uh, didn't have as much luck as we used to with the points output. Uh, we'd expect a lot more. It used to be much more when we had uh, big advanced bonuses. So the folding at home, uh, Stanford Pandy Labs would give out bonus points for using this kind of an instance. But that's that went away um, in January of last year in 2015. So um, right now, based on our anecdotal evidence from the last run, about 60,000 points per day on a system like this. Um, over the course of four years, it's about um, 13,000 coins at a cost uh, approximately $1.43 per coin over four years. Because again, your maintenance cost on a, on an inst a spot instance that's running 24 seven is much higher because you gotta, you have to watch it like a hawk. And there's, there are tools that people have developed that actually let you sort of sit back a little bit and um, be able to spawn instances off, even possibly from a mobile device. So uh, it is possible. Um, we're just speaking from our last experience with it. And then we kind of go into the same configurations, only here we're going to be using dedicated or reserved instances. And like I said, um, you know, here are the prices per year up front. So if you pay 8691 for a C3.8 large, which is similar to this system here, um, that's what it's going to cost you for a dedicated instance. And then um, a G2.2 large, if I can find it. Here we go. So the upfront costs on that are $3,825. And our calculations so, um, extend that out over a four year period. So there's your 3.8 large, uh, 2.2 large GPU instance with one GPU. And then there's a C3.8 large with um, 32 cores uh, CPU processors. Again, a little bit of wattage here because you're going to be spending some time monitoring it on these instances. If it's dedicated, it's about 70 cents per coin over four years. If it's a GPU, dedicated GPU instance, um, AWS Cloud instance, uh, 
a reserved one, C3.8 large, will cost you about $274 or $2.74 per coin. And if you if you look at that, so we look at 77, 274 for dedicated instance versus 42 and a dollar 43, uh, 42 cents versus a dollar 43 for spot instances. Even with all the additional maintenance, it certainly pays to use spot instances whenever possible. So that kind of ties up the uh, presentation for the calculator. And now I'm going to show you something that's still in beta. We're going to publish this anyway, just so you guys have something to work with. Is um, uh, Rorschulks, uh, it's one of our lead developers, um, JavaScript based calculator. And so you have a whole bunch of uh, pre config systems here. Like, for instance, we're going to do a one uh, NVIDIA 750 Ti card in here over. So the maintenance cost, we're gonna use the national average of $22, and we're gonna make the length of time four years. And so then you can see that with this kind of a system configuration, oh, we're gonna drop this down to the national average for kilowatt hour of 12 cents. And you can see it's about 11, 12 cents per coin is what it costs with an NVIDIA 750 Ti. One last, Thing I wanted to cover, and um, this is a, a chart I'd like to just share real quick. By the way, this I'm going to share this infographic down below as well because this infographic kind of lets your friends know how the system works. You know, you download the software from from Stanford, um, you register, you start folding, then you contribute to medical research, but then you know you can take it to the next step. Register with crypto bullion pools on the pure coin blockchain. You can start earning coins. Then just enjoy life, work um, as usual. Uh, when you get your coins, you can donate some of them back or you can use them to purchase items online. And, and uh, the reason I showed this was because coinpayments.net is beginning to accept pure coins for certain items. Um, there's a couple of food items in here now, salts worldwide and some hot sauces, plus some hosting services and some interesting VPN hosting and including some uh, Palo Santo incense and Peruvian pipes uh, if you're interested in some exotic um, pipe paraphernalia. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. There, oh, this is this is what I wanted to share. So this here um, is basically a logarithmic graph. So what you would normally see would be curves but it actually turns when it's logarithmic it turns it straight line but basically here we have current competition levels this is based on a hundred year time span and this is the number of coins that are available with each four year block having event that kind of goes back to our little spreadsheet here that's published on curecoin.net so um, as you can see as the competition rises the value of the coin theoretically rises because more people are competing for the coins available and actually this logarithmic scale like i said it would be a curve it would show more like something like this because with each four-year event there's only half the coins available and so ultimately by the end of 100 years everybody's competing for just a single coin and that's how many cryptocurrencies work and our model is based on something called Pure coin, and you can look that up on purecoin.net as well. So, um, with that, I appreciate you listening to me. Hopefully, it wasn't too long, but uh, it's very important to get out that uh, um, this isn't merely a simple um, vapor kind of a coin, but there's actually value behind it, and it's the value of scientific calculations. And my name is Ivan again, and uh, let me know what you think of the video. Uh, we're going to have a Q&A section next with the team uh, so they can ask some questions about where some of the data came from and uh, some common questions that the public may ask. Thank you.